Hi everyone, this is Kelly Beard and this is your weekly forecast for September 16th to the 22nd, 2018. We are coming up on Fall Equinox and so we do have a couple of events this week specifically that I will talk about on their respective days, the 20th and the 22nd. But first we start with the 16th today, Sunday, with Mercury sextiling Jupiter. Where Sun sextile Jupiter is more about you, this activation is more about your mind, consciousness, ideas, thoughts, and concepts, Mercury's domain, which Jupiter expands in some way, helping you to think bigger, edit your personal story, and step up your game in some kind of way. This is your individual piece of the larger truth and story going on on the social and collective levels. This is also a great energy to work with if you are in school, learning something new, expanding your knowledge base, or gathering new tools and information to support your goals and make you more valuable to the team. Your dreams may be tapping you on the shoulder right about now, demanding your attention. Mundane issues are not your concern right now. You may feel the urge to finally figure out how to create the life you've been imagining. So that's what this is all about, the alignment between Mercury and Jupiter, is getting your higher mind and lower mind to communicate the vision and determine the next steps. This energy also provokes within you the awareness and understanding that being generous naturally attracts generosity to you. The big picture and overall patterns which have led you to this point are being brought into the light. Feeling clear, sharp, alert, and optimistic, you begin to realize that anything you can imagine or remember, you can achieve. Because I often believe it's our memory that is failing us. We all know how to do all of this. We do. We really do. We just have to remember. And this is a really important positive, you know, remember Jupiter is the benefactor. This is a really good positive activation that comes on the heels of the Mercury retrograde. So this is the awakening. Where can you gain some traction? That's what sextiles are good for. You get some, you gain some leverage and you make some progress finally. <laughs> so do report, please. On the 18th, we have Mars squaring Uranus. And this is the third and final time. He did this May 16th of 2018, August 1st, and then this week on September 18th. So that is thanks to the Mars retrograde. So I do have a PS here. This is the rebel energy. What is your cause? If you are clear about your own authentic truth and purpose, then this energy is refreshing and uplifting. You acknowledge that change is necessary and inevitable, and you can co-create with this energy to transform your current life. This is a rebirth energy too though, and being reborn is never easy. Totally worth it, but not easy. However, if you are not clear about who you are and what you're capable of, this energy shines a light on that aspect of your life which you instinctively already know needs an overhaul, but for whatever reason, you're still holding on to the old habits and patterns. If you are unwilling or unable to embrace change at this time, you only increase the feeling of being frustrated and restricted by external energies. Often, life is a direct reflection of what's going on inside you. How's it looking? Check your ego, recommit to your truth, and remember that change is good. And if you don't go voluntarily, read consciously, then you may get dragged to the next level kicking and screaming, but then you'll be so exhausted when you get there that you may miss the beauty in your own evolution, in evolving to the next level. This is what you've been working toward, correct? So remember, conscious effective action creates freedom. You don't have to learn the hard way anymore, do you? So this final activation in a series, thanks to Mars Retrograde, that has been helping you release old desires that are no longer viable. Get present and check in with your choices and actions to see where things have grown stale and need a shakeup or an infusion of new energy. Change is inevitable. How it feels along the way is your choice. So deep breath. This too is the outgrowth of the Mars Retrograde. So now you're going to determine after the review of the last several months, and remember when I talk about the Mars cycle, it's a 24-month cycle total, that we do this eight-month investment for a 16-month return. 
So we're winding down on that eight months of focus in the Capricorn Aquarius departments of our lives and charts and determining who we are and what we want at a whole new level, determining how the masculine should be expressed at a whole new level in a whole new way. And my one little asterisk star that you want to may take note of is the last time that Mars did this kind of retrograde at the same time that Saturn was in Capricorn was in 1988. So there is a quite a theme of the late 80s recurring at this time. So just pay attention to the repetitive themes because most of us would not necessarily go back. It was fun the first time, not any way that we would want to live forever. So let's not repeat those patterns. Move into the now really as consciously as possible and check in with that Mars. How are you making your choices? Are you doing them out of habit and autopilot just to survive? Or are you recognizing where some things just don't work anymore? And so don't have change forced on you. Try to choose it is my point. Then on the 20th, we have Mercury linking up with the sun and this is a big initiation of the new cycle again the outgrowth of the retrograde so this compels you to on a personal level it can ex make you want to express yourself and communication is a focus just make sure that it's reciprocated and what I mean by that is that it's a two-way conversation not that you're talking at someone but with someone you will have access to some powerful energy that can and probably will make quite an impression on others if you need to this is a good time to travel if possible too. However, if not physically, then mentally and certainly within your own area. You will be taking in more information per square inch than usual, so pay attention. You may even gain the much deserved recognition from others that you have worked so hard for. Okay, so another bonus of listening to the podcast or the YouTube is that, like I said, I can hardly keep myself from adding my two cents here <laughs> because it is the outgrowth of the Mercury retrograde in Leo that was getting us rewired, getting our consciousness rewired to being more authentic, to clarifying what we think as individuals with a unique perspective that we could contribute to the whole community. There needed to be a rewiring that connected the heart in there. And so that's what that particular Mercury retrograde was good for, getting in touch with your creativity and your innocent child heart and remembering to always filter things through the heart, not to let the monkey mind run things. And so this is the new Mercury cycle beginning and our consciousness has been awakened. And the beauty of the conjunction is it's in Virgo. So it gives you this sense of mastery. So I know that when I wrote that original overview for that activation. It was very general and not personal and I didn't really take into account what I'm telling you now, that it is the outcome of the retrograde. So it's a little more special than a usual initiation, but it is the initiation of a brand new cycle and we are all awakened to some new levels of all kinds of things. So just take the time to integrate and one of the many things is Venus's getting ready for her retrograde through Scorpio into the end of Libra before she goes forward. So it's another overlap on what I'm calling a dual lesson. And I have created an open house that I am inviting everyone and your friends, anyone that you think would resonate, please share this podcast and YouTube with your friends because this open house is going to be in September and October. So two free calls where I introduce the new Venus cycle in Scorpio and why that's relevant for everyday folks and how you can work it going forward. And you don't have to do all the extra things that I will also be offering, but the mere awareness is always my point with sharing the free calls that I do when I tell you about a new cycle that's starting up. That simple awareness is totally enough to, let's say, extend the invitation to the universe that you would like to co-create. So Venus rules our love, money, and magnetics. She has an amazing cycle that I've written a complete article for. You can also find linked here. That will give you all the details you need to know and to let you know whether you want to play with us in the live circle. So I hope you will join me Thursday night as I introduce the new Venus and Scorpio cycle. On the 22nd, which is Saturday night, we have fall equinox and I will be doing 
our annual Fall Equinox teleconference with Shanta Gabriel, who is an archangel communicator and channeler and a mystic in her own right. She's an amazing, beautiful soul that I work with a lot and for many, many years. And we like to bring in the new seasons together. So I hope you'll think of joining us on Saturday as well. Here we have Fall Equinox is all about the harvest and about assessing and gathering all that you've created for the year and ultimately reaping the rewards of all your hard work and labor. Some of your harvest will be tangible in that creative projects that can and will bear fruit now that they are complete, stable, or in place. And some of your harvest will be intangible as you have been cultivating your own being throughout the last year and now you and others can benefit from your personal integration and renewed strength. Renewing your connection to balance and cultivating this inner alignment with your higher self, your soul self, will inspire the goals for the remaining quarter of the year. Equinox is a time of balance. It is a time of balance between light and shadow and takes us from movement out in the world to more inner work with what you've got energy using your resources and creations to build on and expand primarily behind the scenes in preparation for spring initiation six months from now so please join Shanta and I for a very special send-off as she heads to Italy to explore the sacred feminine that has called her there Shanta will open and close with a prayer and I will discuss the sacred season and all the energetic support we have as we enter the season of balance. The world has gone and got itself in a great big hurry and all distracted by the endless variety of technology, etc. It means a lot for us to gather like this at the turn of the wheel to anchor the energy of balance and harmony. So please look for the registration page there as well in the blog. So this is the also my two cent reminder with fall equinox is literal balance people no matter what chaos is going on around us no matter what our families and friends and maybe ourselves are even going through with these tremendous life-changing experiences for for better and worse all of that is a lot but it's also part of being here and your body and your being is naturally wired for all of the natural changes it's not necessarily wired for all this technology and this time in front of a screen so we have to be mindful that this is the evolution and know our own selves and bodies accordingly like how much energy can you really process at a time in a day and what have you so I like to remind people at fall and spring equinox that it's literal balance we have access to and there's so much support for stability and grounding things in real life. The challenge comes in that virtual reality right about now. The planets are all in a bunch of Earth signs. We're getting so much access to grounding and anchoring and making real some things that have been an idea and in our minds and hearts for many, many years are starting to become possible. So don't allow the overwhelm or the distraction of things that you cannot control distract you from the things you can control which is tuning into your heart reconnecting with your own natural rhythm and anchoring in the here and now not getting too caught up in the past not getting too caught up in the future just real close to present moment as often and as centered as possible and that's what the equinoxes give us a checkpoint for and we have a good solid month or six weeks before the midpoint so you get a nice little time to access it while the light diminishes day by day by day and the idea energetically and shamanically is to face our shadows and to do our inner work and tend to those places that we we don't tend to on a daily basis but that get pushed aside for survival or what have you and and give them some time and energy too and it just becomes a natural practice and I think I've mentioned this on a lot of my audios once you start tuning into a cycle and paying attention to the rhythm and feeling it in your own body your body settles down it's not as stressed out it's not as on edge or in that fight or flight mode all the time it starts to realize that at winter she's gonna come in and, and give me some energy and some conscious tending some tending to ourselves we tend to all the world and all the community and all our kids and families and friends and people that we love and want to take care of but now this time of literal balance I'm gonna invite you to tap into your own individual needs this season and check in with your own balance barometer are you 
doing okay or do you have some extremes going on in in your any area of your life it may not be everything you know that's what happens too it will be one area of life that probably has been neglected that we have to bring into the fore and recognize that we do have more resources than we're maybe giving ourselves credit for so like I said tapping into the rhythm in your own body let your body know that at certain times of year you're gonna be active certain times of year you're gonna be passive certain times of year you're gonna be reflective and it gets to a rhythm with it that it's like okay I'm good she's not gonna ignore me for 10 years like she did last time okay so this is just a really good time not to be distracted and to tune into that actual balance and take a little time over the next month to acknowledge the turn of the season and acknowledge that all the outward movement needs to kind of pull in a little bit which of course is counter to our culture and the holiday season and all that but that's a sacred season too and so really when you start to get on a natural rhythm you can even work around the holidays with more energy and enthusiasm so thank you for listening and I hope you will join me this week two calls and in a week is a lot for me but this is the season and I love this time of year this is absolutely my most favorite time of year so I hope you will join us one of those nights for Venus on Thursday the 20th where we honor her new cycle in Scorpio and on Saturday night with me and Shanta to honor fall equinox and the turn of the seasons So thanks for listening. This is Kelly M. Beard of karmictools.wordpress.com, and I'm so grateful for your time, energy, and support. Please share this with those you think would resonate and reach out if and when you need to. Kelly at karmictools.com, or you can reach me through my contact page on the website. The goal of my weekly forecast is to alert you to the energies and activations that we're all experiencing and the possibilities for conscious co-creation as an individual. Awareness of the energies is the first key, but I invite you to take it to the next level by checking out my readings, telecircles, or subscriptions, which are all geared toward individual support that helps you understand your own unique blueprint. My specialty is cycles and patterns, and I love helping people figure out their own within the context of the social and collective rhythm. To some, working with their own cycles and patterns is a completely new and foreign concept. But there are many planetary cycles that coincide with natural life cycles that allow us to co-create in mystical as well as practical ways. I create custom tools that I have tried and tested myself for over 30 years, and I do the work alongside my circle every time. So I hope you will reach out if you feel called to dive deeper into your own soul's natural rhythm. Talk to you soon. Namaste.